Today we're bringing you the pros and cons of living in Lewis, Delaware. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another edition of Living in Coastal Delaware. As always, I'm your host, Matt London, your Coastal Delaware Realtor, and today we're gonna be discussing the pros and cons of living in Lewis. Uh, I've already discussed the Rehoboth video. That was my very first video I did on the channel. Um, I'll link that above here so that you can click back to it if you'd like to see it. But this is gonna discuss five pros and five cons of what it's like living here in Lewis, Delaware. As always, if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below, smash the notification bell next to it so you can stay in the loop each week when we discuss all things Coastal Delaware. And then if you are someone that's looking to buy or sell real estate here in Coastal Delaware, I would love the opportunity to work with you. So please do not hesitate to reach out. I'll have all my information down below in the description and here on the screen. Now let's dive in. We are going to start off with the list of pros today. So if you wanna see the cons, you're gonna to have to wait to the end of the video for that. And I'd love for you guys to sound off in the comments if you've got some other pros and cons, maybe that I don't mention today, feel free to drop a comment below and let me know what those are. These are gonna be in no particular order. Um, they're just the five that I asked some Facebook groups that I manage and I, I asked them what they thought, you know, might be the, the best and worst things about living in Lewis. And these are just the general consensus of uh, what seemed to be the most popular for both sides. So kicking it off with the pros, number one is the downtown of Lewis, the actual Lewis City downtown area. Um, it's full of quaint shops, mom and pop owned restaurants, shops. You got everything you could need right there in downtown Lewis. It's right along the canal and it's literally like taking a step back in time. You know, when you walk up and down the streets, you got all the shops on second street there. I mean, you got a great restaurants right along the water there on the canal with wheelhouse, Irish eyes and Harbor. Um, so there's really just a, a abundance of things to do in downtown Lewis. And it is just a quaint, like I said, taking a step back in time when you walk through the downtown area, and it's an excellent spot to grab a bite to eat, uh, to do some shopping in the boutiques and everything else we have down there. Um, it is just an ultimate like, little downtown area, um, and that's number one on my list. Number two, can't be a beach town without mentioning the beaches. I love going to Lewis Beach. Uh, my daughter loves going to Lewis Beach. We spend a ton of time up there because while you can go to the state park and get on the ocean side, most of Lewis Beach is on the Delaware Bay. So you don't deal with a lot of the big waves and the currents that come with that. So you can play in the water all day long and not have to worry about you know, any dangerous rip currents and everything else that you get with the ocean. It is a fantastic spot to, to hang out, catch a sunset, um, just spend the day on the beach, really whatever you know, you're looking to do beach wise. And then every July 4th, they've got the fireworks right there on the beach. So you can spend the day on the beach and then they pull the barge in that they set the fireworks off of right in the bay there. So you can sit there, watch the fireworks and just take it all in. Uh, like I said, that's every July 4th. Next on my list, kind of coinciding with the outdoors of the beaches, uh, we've got some great parks. Um, not only do we have Cape Penlopen State Park, which is right there in Lewis, which has some museums, beaches, walking trails, all that kind of stuff. We've also got some other parks in Lewis. You know, you've got the, the Canal Front Park, which sits right on the canal. It's got a playground for kids. It's got just some area where you can sit, watch boats go up and down the canal there. Um, it's got a little dock you're allowed to fish off of. So, you know, we've got a lot of opportunity to do some outdoor activities there. They do uh, some outdoor music in the park there and then over at the park by the library in the summertime. Um, so if you wanna take in an evening concert outdoors, uh, we've got that opportunity for you as well. Number four on my list is going to be that Lewis is mostly full-time residents. So a lot of the other beach towns see a huge portion of transient residents or vacationers in the summertime. Lewis is simply, it's just more residential and it's more full-time residents. So while you still see the vacationers, you still see a lot of the you know summer boom, but most of the people that live in Lewis are there year round. So you've got a lot more full-time population there, which is great if you're looking to hang out with folks or if you're looking to um, you know find some place where you're not going to have renters next to you every single you know different week uh, lewis is a great option like i said most of the time it is or most of the residents there are full-time residents the final and fifth pro that i've got for you guys i guess you can't really mention a, a delaware town or moving to a delaware town 
without mentioning the property taxes. Again, we've got no sales tax here. We've got very low property taxes, and that's just the case again in Lewis as it is across the state, but it's a great beach town to be in with, again, no sales tax and low property tax. So if you're someone that's looking to escape a high tax area, Lewis could be a great option for you. Now we're gonna switch pace a little bit, and we're gonna take you through my five cons of living in Lewis. The first con, I mentioned it in, the, in a bunch of other videos, is going to be the traffic on Route 1. Uh, luckily, if you're in Lewis, the traffic really starts as you get towards the south end of Lewis and into Rehoboth a lot more, but as with you know any major beach town, you're gonna have, especially on the weekends when people are coming and going from rentals or uh, their summer spot, you're gonna have traffic and traffic on Route 1 can be pretty brutal. But like I said, it's a little bit less in Lewis than it is in Rehoboth, but it's still a factor to consider when you know looking at the area. The second con on my list, uh, you know, we're a beach town on the East Coast. We do get the occasional hurricane. Typically, they miss us a little bit and, and hit the Jersey Shore uh, more so often, but we do still have the threat of hurricanes on occasion. So if you're someone that's weary about that or you're nervous about storms and that kind of stuff, again, just a factor to consider the closer to the beach you get, the more that threat becomes you know, a bigger issue. As you move west a little bit, you mitigate that by just being a little bit further away from the beaches, but it is just something to consider when looking at the area. Number three on my list of cons is going to be, there's a lack of things to do when you can't be outside. So, you know, when it's raining, when it's cold, middle of the winter, that kind of stuff, there's just not a ton of options, especially for kids. Um, you know, we've got a couple of businesses like Shelby Balance was a trampoline park, um, and there's some indoor uh, museums and stuff down at the state park. But for the most part, there's not a whole ton to do indoors as, you know, this area really flourishes in the summer and most of our activities and businesses are focused on being outdoors. Uh, so when you can't be outdoors or when it's not desirable to be outdoors, that's when you run into a lot of issues of finding things to do and it can be a little bothersome at times. So again, just keep that in mind as you're looking to move to the area. Next on my list and uh, a hot topic right now, is the cost of real estate. Uh, you know, coastal Delaware is not cheap to find real estate here. We definitely are more expensive to find real estate here than most of the other parts of the state. And that's simply because they're not making any more beachfront property. And it's a popular area. So you've got a ton of people coming in. They're not making any more beachfront property. So those two combined, you know, cause a little supply and demand imbalance there. And as people are looking to move to this area, a lot of them are willing to spend a little bit more on you know their house because they know that it's an area they want to be and they've probably sold wherever else they're coming from so they're looking to spend a little bit more and to be closer to the beaches so that drives up the cost of real estate and that's again just something to keep in mind the fifth and final con that i've got for you guys and this is a hot topic if you ask any local or anybody that's been here for more than just a few years it's the amount of new construction that's going up in this area and where it's going uh, you've got a lot of new construction that's being built on what was farmland and you've got a lot of people that moved here because they enjoyed the you know being surrounded by farms and the serenity of that and now that's all going away so you've got a ton of new construction that's going up on what was farmland and it's kind of taken away from the overall atmosphere of the area just because you're losing that that you know, rural kind of feel, even though it is a bustling area. It used to be that you could drive down just a few miles down the road and you got farms everywhere. Now those farms are getting stretched further and further away from the beaches just because so much new construction is going in. And again, they're not building any more beachfront property. So as more people move to the area wanting to be closer to the beaches, they've got to expand a little bit just because there's not enough area for them all. Um, that's been a very hot topic. If you go on any local uh, forum or Facebook group or any of that, it's one of the main things talked about is how a lot of the farms are going away. And again, it's, you know, it's a sad thing, but at the flip side of that, you can't necessarily blame the farmers for wanting to capitalize on a top time in the real estate market. That's gonna do it for my five pros and five cons on living here in Lewis, Delaware. I hope I gave you guys some insight as to what it's like. If you have any particular questions, again, all my information will be down below in the description and here on the screen. And if you guys are looking to buy or sell real estate in the area, again, please don't hesitate to reach out. And then if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below. And once again, smash that notification bell next to it so you can stay in the loop each week when we discuss all things coastal Delaware. Look forward to seeing you guys next time.